for your introduction and I'm going to start my presentation and as uh, Professor Sika has uh, just uh, introduced uh, the indoor environment quality in our bedroom, including uh, air quality and uh, light and noise all would affect our uh, sleep quality. And my presentation would focus on the summer environment and uh, uh, I will uh, introduce four deliverables. First is uh, why why we should uh, study or uh, investigate the thermal environment of our bedroom. And uh, 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 theoretically, as uh, uh, thermal environment is one of the uh, most important factors that would affect our sleep quality because. Uh, we know that in one uh, in our brain, there's one area called uh, hypothalamus. This uh, this area uh, is uh, control the uh, thermal regulation of our body and control the heat loss of our body. And uh, uh, it at the same area, it also regulates sleep. So we can see that thermal regulation and sleep uh, regulation are intercorrelated. Uh, that's why uh, thermal environment would uh, affect our sleep quality. Um, but so far, <clears throat> all our, our uh, standards on thermal environment are all based on the study. Some, for example, thermal comfort uh, research uh, one that was uh, that were carried out when people are awake and very few has focused on the thermal environment or the thermal uh, requirement, uh, requirements uh, of our bedroom. And uh, uh, there are many problems we are found in the bedrooms and uh, uh, disturbed uh, thermal environment is one of the uh, results we have found. For example, uh, in one uh, survey that was uh, carried out in Hong Kong, China, uh, we know that Hong Kong has a very a uh, humid heat summer. And so the air conditioners are used by every, by every uh, bedroom. And uh, uh, there's, uh, this survey uh, asked, uh, uh, got uh, the response from uh, more than 500 respondents. And the results show that about 25 of them have the experience of wake up during, during the night because of high temperature and about 25 uh, wake up because of low temperature and some about 10 uh, were wake up because of the temperature fluctuation. Uh, that is to say about 60% of these respondents did not get a good sleep uh, uh, summer environment. And it should also be noted that for all of these respondents, they all uh, open or use their air conditioner during the night. So, uh, so, so that's why we should uh, focus on the summer environment. And to understand uh, to what extent summer environment would affect our sleep quality, we uh, perform, uh, performed two studies in the lab to investigate uh, the temperatures that was only moderately deviate from the thermal neutral temperature, that is uh, three degrees higher or lower than the thermal neutral temperatures. And we found that uh, temperature has very significant effect on sleep quality. And as to the uh, lower temperature and higher temperature, we observed that the higher temperature has larger negative effects on sleep quality. For example, uh, for the when the temperature was three uh, centigrade higher than the neutral temperature, the sleep the deep sleep of our young adults decreased by 50, uh, uh, 50 minutes. So what what does this uh, 50 minutes mean? It means uh, more than one third of all of of all your uh, deep sleep uh, during the night, that is for the young adults. So, <clears throat> so that's uh, uh, that's the one of the uh, important uh, results we have observed. And also, we we should uh, when we talk about the thermal neutral temperature for sleep, we have to keep in mind that uh, the thermal insulation of our body covering has great influence on the 
exact value of the thermal, of the neutral uh, temperatures. This figure uh, just uh, shows some uh, compares uh, the thermal neutral temperature and also the beta carbon insulation of different studies. And obviously, uh, for the lower neutral temperature, uh, the the beta the for the lower temp uh, the blue line shows the neutral temperatures. For, so for the lower uh, neutral temperature, they have higher, oh, that is heavy, beta, uh, beta covering. And for the uh, for the higher higher neutral temperature, the beta covering is is very light. And also we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, this the 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 adjustments or the 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 um, the function of some some uh, insulation works more at the lower temperature because when the temperature is low, we can use heavy heavier as a bed covering. But when we come to the high temperature, there's very limited space for us to adjust our thermal uh, insulation. And the, and also, uh, therefore, we want to uh, we want to know. Uh, if there are small heat load, if there are small heat load in the room, whether it will affect our sleep quality. Because we performed this study because uh, in China, uh, many, many people uh, used uh, fans in their bedrooms when the temperature is not so high. So we want to know whether the fan can, can compromise uh, the, the the negative effects of higher temperature. And also for this study, we focus on the vulnerable people, that is the elderly. And we uh, <clears throat> we investigated two levels of air temperature. One is 27 centigrade, that is the neutral temperature for the elderly people. And another is 30 centigrade. Uh, but at the 30 centigrade, we uh, turn on a selenium foam, a selenium uh, fan that uh, can uh, can reduce or uh, move the thermal thermal load, and according to the uh, subjective uh, assessments, these uh, subjects assessed uh, both twenty seven and certain and thirty centigrade. Both environment were thermal comfortable, and also in this study we combined the effects of uh, ventilation, and the results show that. Even with the even with the use of fan, uh, the sleep quality decreased at 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 thirty centigrade than at twenty seven centigrade, and this and this uh, table shows the uh, effects of temperature, the elevated temperature on some physiological uh, parameters, and we uh, we can see uh, the higher temperature increased skin temperature increased heart rate and decreased uh, this uh, 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 heart rate variability in disease and uh, these uh, physiological uh, parameters are correlated with the sleep quality of our of our uh, elderly subjects and uh, and this uh, study just shows uh, the the if in a uh, if in, in if the thermal load uh, was not removed efficiently, uh, even a, a very small, a slightly uh, thermal stress would decrease uh, sleep quality. And this is this is more uh, uh, this is the case for the elderly people. And we know that as with the global warming. Uh, is expected more and more elderly people will be exposed to the higher temperature. So we have to uh, solve these problems. And uh, also <clears throat> in the uh, measurement in the field studies, we we observed air temperature is one of the dominant factor that inf influence uh, sleep quality. This uh, field study was performed in the summer in Shanghai. And uh, uh, the air temperature uh, we made was range from 27 to 32 centigrade, and the relative humidity is from 36 to 
88%, and the CO2 concentration is from 400 to 2,400 ppm. And we, when we correlated this uh, bedroom environment with the sleep quality, we found that higher temperature, higher relative humidity, and higher CO2 all have negative effects on sleep quality. And when we, if we uh, see the detail, we can see temperature, air temperature is the dominant factor that uh, affects sleep quality. Higher temperature reduces total sleep time, reduces sleep efficiency, and also reduces this uh, REM sleep. Okay, so these are for the uh, results on uh, air temperature and the sleep. And uh, also uh, the third uh, topic is um, about sleeping microenvironment. And we are uh, thinking about how to improve thermal environment, but with any efficient way. So we uh, we uh, perform some studies using local cooling to improve the thermal environment. And this study was for the uh, young uh, adults, and uh, uh, it shows it is very effective. This uh, local uh, conductive cooling on back and head maintained good sleep at an air temperature of 32 centigrade. And also uh, we we uh, investigate the effects of heating, local heating on sleep quality. And we know that in China in the uh, hot summer and cold winter zone, we do not have central heating, but we have a cold winter. And this study was performed in the rear bedroom of of the subjects and their indoor temperature was seven centigrade, very low. So we used, uh, we provided car heating and mattress heating and they were shown to be uh, effective to, in, to in, increase their sleep quality. And also the last uh, topic um, I want to uh, introduce is the importance of skin temperature for, uh, for sleep study. In when we uh, examine the effects of thermal environment, this uh, figure shows that uh, we we measure me, uh, skin temperature of the subjects uh, throughout the night, and we observe that their skin temperature uh, increased with air temperature and also fluctuated during the entire sleep uh, period. This fluctuation, in fact, coincident uh, consistent with the our core body temperature. So. So this may remind us to dynamically control the summer environment during the night, and also we want to uh, uh, we want to know how to measure skin temperature for for uh, uh, for for when people uh, sleep or sleep. So we uh, propose two methods. Uh, one is uh, three points, three three points measure that is forehead, chest, and foot, and these were shown very effective and uh, uh, reliable for a measurement of skin temperature when people were asleep. And also, we propose to measure the wrist skin temperature, that because the wrist skin temperature can be uh, cooperate. Co uh, can be measured together with many sleep trackers, wrist warm sleep trackers. So this uh, measurement uh, on skin temperature will allow us to dynamic and also uh, to intelligent control the uh, the 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 uh, thermal environment during the night. Okay, so uh, in summary, uh, we sh we should know that our human sleep quality is very sensitive to the change of air temperature. And the higher temperature has larger, we should say, high, higher temperature has larger uh, negative effects on, on sleep quality because uh, uh, at a, a lower temperature, we can use a heavier, uh, some more, uh, heavier better carry to reduce the, its negative effects. And also, we we we, sh we we can expect that the dynamic control of the thermal environment would help to improve the sleep quality. But uh, there are some studies, but more studies are needed to identify the ultimate uh, cycle. And also, we can control the better microenvironment by use of local heating, cooling, and uh, and the ventilation system. And also, uh, skin temperature is a very good index for for predicting the thermal state of human body when uh, we are asleep. So, 
uh, that's all my uh, presentation and thank you.